Hello community, throughout my time in Hitman, I've noticed some very clear patterns of mistakes and traps people fall into. These are very common and I'm sure every single person watching this video is either guilty of them right now or has done them in the past. So today, I'm gonna rank them, the top 4 worst mistakes every Hitman player makes. At the number 4 spot, becoming too dependent on your loadout. Don't get me wrong, your loadout is very important and after the endless amount of hours you've spent unlocking some of the best gear and weapons in the game, you should absolutely learn how to use them in the most optimal way possible. However, you really shouldn't allow yourself to become too dependent on your gear. Like doing the Amatic Briefcase in Seeker on every mission for easy kills. These weapons are good to a point, they have a purpose. Their purpose is to be used when necessary for more difficult situations and maybe some elusive targets, but you really don't want to become dependent on them. Because, make no mistake about it, even though you may have unlocked some incredible weapons, there will be no shortages of situations where you won't have the chance to bring them with you. Freelancer, 7 Deadly Sins, Deluxe Escalations and some elusive target arcades just for starters. And plus, learning how to play without a loadout from time to time would help you tremendously in being able to handle what you may call unpredictable situations. Number 3 Ignoring Guides Depending on if you want to be a speedrunner or just be good at the game, this will be very different. With me, I'll show you a route that works every single time. A speedrunner will show you a route that works in eventually. Reason for that being that the goal of speedrunning isn't to create a repeatable route as much as to get the fastest time by any means necessary. So even if it works once in 20 times, that's good enough because the end goal is just to hit the time. As for why you need to watch different guides and routes, it's because a lot of times it will teach you something you didn't know, show you a different way to get through an area or deal with annoying NPCs. All of those things will help you to then go into your game and create your own because you'll have the knowledge to do so. I've noticed that some people like to try to learn everything on their own from scratch and that can work eventually, but it will take 10 times the amount of work and frustration to get there and then the worst part is a lot of times that playstyle will be extremely unoptimal and convoluted because you just don't know any better. There is no shame in seeing how other people deal with certain problems or seeing how they handle different situations. All that happens is it makes you more prepared to deal with them yourself. At the number 2 spot we have slaving to disguises. Just like your loadout, disguises are great to a point. They are great for challenges, exploring maps and learning their layouts as well as just casual gameplay. However, you really don't want to turn them into a crutch that you need to play because in many scenarios like the 7 Deadly Sins Escalations, Deluxe Escalations and from my personal experience some of the freelancer challenges, you will be forced to place your only and if you're only used to going around in disguises, you really will go from swimming in the children's pool to underwater shark diving. It really is that big of a difference. Disguises may teach you the overall layout of the map, but it's suit only that will teach you how to maneuver that layout properly, where you can and can't go. Suit only is by far the best way to master a map's traversal. It will give you the best knowledge for how to get around it in the most optimal way. Worst case scenario would be if you are both slaving to disguises and your loadout at the same time. If that's the case, you're gonna run into some serious trouble come January 26th, because not only will you be forced to play shoot only with no loadout, but also you'll have zero room for mistakes. In other words, you're fucked. At the number one spot we have overplaying the same map. I get it, we've all been there, but after playing Sapienza for a month straight, you should have enough. If you continue playing however the same map for months on end, with no changes whatsoever, there is something you need to realize. The thing about Hitman that separates it from any other stealth game is that once you figure out the mechanics, you can't just go into any situation and rule. Every single map is completely unique and you have to possess great knowledge of them to be able to play them successfully. Even if you've mastered one map, that doesn't mean you'll be able to do the same for all the others. And in order to get the best weapons, gear and even suits, you have to explore all the game has to offer. Now I'm not saying you can't have a favorite map that you enjoy playing, all I'm saying is make sure to switch around from time to time and explore different maps. I know it may be an extreme scenario, but there are players out there who will literally play Sapienza for months and years only and will never even touch another map. And if you want to be successful in this game, you can't allow yourself to become so overwhelmingly possessive and clingy to just one map. If you are an extremely casual player and have zero interest in doing any of the escalations or trying freelancer and all you want to do is play your Sapienza, then do what you will. But if you have any thought about even trying out freelancer, you're gonna have a very rude awakening because you'll have no chance in hell of being successful at it if all you've done up to this point is slave to a single map. 
These are my two cents on the matter, do with them what you will, but I do hope I was helpful in showcasing some really big traps I've seen a lot of people fall into, including myself at some point. And don't take this the wrong way either, I'm not telling you to never use disguises or your loadout or to never replay the same map, all I'm saying is to have moderation and to not become dependent on them. If you enjoyed, please do drop a like, subscribe for more content, thank you very much for watching.